What's up everybody? I hope you're doing well. So I was sleuthing around on the internet trying to do some research for this video and I discovered that there's very little information available about judging our therapy clients. Instead, when I did a Google search for things like what to do if you're judging your therapy clients, there was no shortage of articles and forum postings from folks saying that they feel like their therapist is judging them as the client. So based on all of this, it appears that there are a number of clients who feel as though their therapists are judging them but there's very little information about what to do as a therapist if you're judging your client. So what gives? So in this video, I'd like to normalize the experience of judging our clients so that we can adequately and properly address it when it comes up rather than brushing it aside and pretending it doesn't exist. One of the definitions in the Merriam-Webster dictionary for judgmental is quote, characterized by a tendency to judge harshly. Of course, in therapy world, the PC way to refer to being judgmental towards our client is to call it countertransference, which it absolutely is within the umbrella of countertransference, one of the ways that it can manifest as being judgmental. But I just want to say it's also okay to show up to our consult group and say something like, hey, I think I'm kind of judging my client a little bit. Can we talk about that? All right, so now that we got all of that out of the way, what do we do when we find that we're being judgmental towards our clients? And just a little quick disclaimer, these are my thoughts, opinions, and reflections, do with them what you will, but this does not constitute professional advice. Okay, so if you find that you're judging your client a bit, first of all, don't panic. Having judgment towards other people is a very natural part of human experience. And even the fact that you're having such an emotional reaction to your client really shows that you've built enough of a connection with them that you truly care about their choices and their well being. And my next tip is to be curious. There can be this unspoken understanding that we're not supposed to have judgments towards our clients. So when it pops up, we tend to either peg it on our clients that there's something about them, their transference, et cetera, or there's something about us that we should be ashamed of, that we shouldn't be having this judgment. Instead, I propose that we accept that we can judge people. <laughs> and that's actually something to be curious about. Say, I am really having an emotional reaction to that thing my client said or the thing my client did, that choice they made. I wonder what that's about. I wonder what's going on there. The next piece of advice to consider is when appropriate, consider using self-disclosure with your client. Now this is particularly relevant and appropriate if your judgment is a result of maybe your client treating you poorly or something along those lines. For example, if your client lashes out towards you or is aggressive towards you in some way, it would be appropriate for you to feel hurt, scared, or angry. In such cases, it could be useful to say something like, Ooh, okay. I am feeling pretty tense right now. Uh, when you just got out of your chair and started yelling at me, it did make me feel quite unsafe. So I'd love to pause and take a moment to just talk about how we interact with each other in these moments so that I can be better equipped to support you. The next piece of advice should come as no surprise and that's to seek consultation. I found for me at least that if I'm having any type of emotional reaction towards a client, it's much more helpful to start by naming that emotional reaction rather than focusing on the clinical case or you know the behaviors between the two of us. It makes it much more accessible for me as the colleague to know what that therapist likely needs from me. For a moment, we need to focus on that therapist's emotional reaction before diving into the more clinical stuff. Uh, this is really uncomfortable to bring up, but I could use your help. <laughs> There's this client that I've been having these really strong emotional reactions towards, and I feel like I'm kind of judging them. I don't want to, but I think it'd probably be a really good idea to like talk through it and see if we can figure out where some of these emotions are coming up for me so that Hopefully I, you know, it doesn't influence the work that we're doing together. And that leads to the next piece of advice to consider if you notice that you're feeling judgmental towards your client is to have compassion on yourself. If your one and only goal is to rid yourself of all judgment ASAP, then you might be missing a real opportunity, both for your client and for yourself. For me, not only has it been helpful in each individual situation to identify, you know, here's what's going on with this client and why I might be feeling judgmental towards them so that I can overcome that hurdle, but also it's been quite helpful to identify that I have a pattern of situations that I tend to be most judgmental in. So now when that judgment happens kind of live in session, 
sometimes I can access a much quicker assessment of what's going on. So if we can lead from a place of compassion towards ourselves with a genuine desire to develop insights and self-awareness around whatever is fueling our judgment, then ultimately it will trickle down as compassion towards our clients as well. And the next piece of advice to consider is of course, when necessary or helpful, seek out personal therapy. Okay, now obviously I'm not trying to say that anytime you feel even the slightest ounce of judgment towards one of your clients, you need to go run to your own personal therapist. But if you're noticing that there is just a continued pattern of judgment coming up towards your clients, even after you've been curious and inserted self-compassion and brought it up multiple times in consult group, it might be a really good time to bring that up in personal therapy, both for your own benefit as well as your clients. And the last piece of advice is if there is a pattern of judgment that still continues after all of this, it's okay to refer out. Sometimes, despite all of our best efforts, consult group, personal therapy, etc., we still find ourselves feeling judgmental of our clients and maybe to an extent that disrupts the therapy work. This is also part of being human. Not every judgmental hurdle that we face is one that can necessarily be overcome. And I would argue it may not need to be overcome. I think we all have those sensitive spots like that. And it's more helpful in my opinion to know where those are and protect those rather than feel like we need to somehow be equipped to help every single person. Don't worry, anyone that you're not equipped to help, there's somebody else out there who is. You do not have to save everybody. My main hope in making this video is to normalize the experience of judging our clients. We all do it, myself included, because we're human and if we can normalize this truth about ourselves then I hope that we can find more safe spaces to talk about it and therefore address it safely and for anyone who's a supervisor a consult group facilitator employer or you know just a consult group participant feel free to reflect on this a little bit think about whether there's safety or not to talk about this in your group um, and see if you're leading that group, if there's any ways that you can facilitate safety to talk about judging our clients. And before we close, I'd like to thank therapynotes.com for sponsoring this video. Therapy Notes helps with all of your practice management needs. They cover scheduling and notes and billing. You can charge your client's card and they have a HIPAA secure telehealth platform included for free for all users. If you'd like to check out Therapy Notes, you can get two months to try it for free with no commitment just by clicking the link in the description of this video. Well, I hope this video helped normalize any judgments you might ever feel towards your clients. Let me know in the comments if there are any tips you think I missed that you would add. And until next time, from one therapist to another, I wish you well.